Okay, now I want to just show you a little bit of a little extra thing where since we know how to play the clave and we have all the sounds on the conga going, it's nice to start thinking about some combinations of things. One is you take one hand, in my case I, I do it on with my left, and I play the clave pattern on a surface. It could be a wood block, it could be anything. In this case, it's just the side of a conga drum. One, two, three, four, one. What am I playing? I'm playing the song clave in three, two. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One. So, doing the clave with the other hand, just using either the bass tone, it's up to you, bass tone, slap toe, whatever, you, open tone, whatever you like to use, do something else, like maybe quarter notes or downbeats. It would go like this. Maybe a little slower. Now we can do one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four. And now we're going to play the ands of the beat. And instead of the downbeats, we're going to play the ands. Same thing. Three, two, song clave on the other hand. In this case, all the hands are separate, except for when you play the piano two. Now, we can do in the just single strokes on your right hand or your left hand and the clave in the other one. Now we can do some of the heel toe exercises that we did before, like eighth notes. So it's the same thing when we talked about heel toe being the palm falling down on your being totally relaxed in the middle of the bass tone and the toe. A rocking motion, really relaxed. Now you do eighth notes. Well now, at the same time, the other hand, you would play the song clave in 3-2. We can also do 16th notes. If I may add, when you're exercising or practicing things like this, any exercise that I've taught you, when I'm playing even a simple exercise like this, 
if you notice, everything turns into a rhythm. So make it a rhythm. It, it becomes easier for you to play it if you think of it as, as a rhythm. Okay, I'm going to do the 16s with the clave like we just did. But it becomes a groove. Any of that stuff, even... It becomes an actual groove. So that's, that's the fun stuff about this stuff. It's not just... I don't like to think of these things as just exercises that are just totally sterile. Playing music is about feeling good. And when you, so when you're playing an instrument, make it feel good. That's basically all of what it's all about.